Hi there, I'm Alicia Malone and welcome to TCM this Oscar Sunday. That's right, the 96th Academy Award Ceremony is on tonight and that means that today is our final day in TCM's annual 31 Days of Oscar Festival. Our lineup consists of movies that either won or were nominated for the Best Picture Academy Award. So let's start with a nominee released in 1958. Directed by Richard Brooks, it's Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. This is one of those films that ended up becoming a classic in spite of all the difficult circumstances that surrounded its production. MGM had bought the film rights to the Pulitzer Prize winning play written by Tennessee Williams, envisioning the star of their film version being James Dean. But there were delays in starting and in the meantime, James Dean died in a car accident. They also lost their chosen leading lady, Grace Kelly, when she gave up acting to become the Princess of Monaco. The lead roles then went to Paul Newman and Elizabeth Taylor, who play an unhappily married couple, Brick and Maggie. Brick is a former college football star turned alcoholic who is visiting his family home to celebrate his father's birthday, and Maggie is distressed at Brick's lack of affection toward her. Elizabeth Taylor was excited to play this role and was doing well in her career following the success of Giant and a new contract with MGM negotiated by her husband, producer Mike Todd. But not long into filming, Todd had a trip to New York to accept an award. Taylor had been planning to go with him, but she fell sick with a virus and stayed behind. On his way to New York, Mike Todd's private plane crashed, killing everyone on board, and Elizabeth Taylor was inconsolable. Somehow, she pulled herself together to give a remarkable and Oscar-nominated performance, using her grief to fuel her emotions. So let's see it from 1958 with an adapted screenplay by Richard Brooks and James Poe. This is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof was well received, with the only real criticism from reviewers being how much the original play had to be toned down for the film, in particular the sexuality of the character of Brick. But Paul Newman was praised for his performance as Brick and was nominated for his first Oscar as Best Actor. The film scored six nominations in total, including Best Actress for Elizabeth Taylor, Best Director for Richard Brooks and Best Picture. In the Best Picture category, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof was up against The Defiant Ones, Auntie Mame, Separate Tables and Gigi. It was Gigi that took home the top prize and that musical was the big winner of that night, winning all nine of its nominations and setting records in the process. We have another Best Picture nominee up next for you on TCM. Stay with us after the break as Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway play American folk hero outlaws on the run in a landmark 1967 film directed by Arthur Penn. Next on TCM, Bonnie and Clyde. Then, Gone with the Wind. And later, Around the World in 80 Days. Oscar earns medallion status today. <laughs> 